Well, I've been, I've been brought across to head uh, the National Development Programme. So, a little bit of a whirlwind, really. I, I, um, up until March, I'd never been to Asia. And then, uh, six, seven months down the line, I find myself here full time. So, um, you know, five and six flights back and forth. Um, and, you know, eventually delighted to be on the ground and we can get the programme up and running. My, uh, I've got three, three children and my wife back home. Um, my, my oldest son is, is in the final year of school, so he's finished his GCSE. So, you know, it was um, a tough decision, very, very difficult to, to be apart, but we knew we were going to be really busy, um, certainly with the first year of the programme. So it made sense that, you know, they finished their education and uh, I get settled and, uh, and we get organised and we get the programme up and running. So, yeah, i already looking forward to them joining me next year. And an academy is aimed and targeted at elite, elite players, you know, um, and has, as Dato said, you know, there's lots of, of, of schools um, set up at the moment uh, working with, with elite players. Uh, we back home deliver a community programme aimed at um, children of all ages, all abilities, all backgrounds, and we reach over 40,000 children a year through various schemes. Um, something that we're looking to implement here as part of the, of the national programme is, is exactly that. We're actually off tonight to deliver, to start to deliver one of our projects um, within the Felder region at Jenka. So tomorrow we'll be working in, in um, a classroom um, with uh, primary school children aimed at developing their communication, their, their English, and we'll also then, as part of that, be on the field playing football with them. So, you know, we, we do aim our programmes at, at children of, of all ages, all abilities, and all backgrounds. And the grassroots programme here We'll, we'll target, you know, not just the elite players because they need a pathway, but also all the other hundreds of thousands of kids that have got a passion for football, just like us all. I think short term, we, you know, we, you know, we need to come and assess um, exactly where Malaysian football is at a grassroots level, and in conjunction with the league and the cooperation of the clubs, it will give us, you know, certainly over the first few months, an insight into the training methods and, and to the standards and, and to the facilities and, and everything that's available you know, that, that is needed to, to be taken into consideration when developing these young players. And then alongside that, we hope to be able to share our philosophy, our thoughts and, and, and our experiences from being successful back home in terms of developing not both elite players, but the ability to affect um, and improve you know, the, the quality and, and standards of, of children's behaviour, um, their outlook on life, their communication, and obviously their love of football. And, and through the, through the love of football, um, it's, a, it's a great tool we found. It's a fantastic tool to be able to reach out to, to many boys and girls, uh, you know, all over the country. Well, it's just being it's being accepted, and you know, and, and people wanting to work with us. As you said, we can't change people's ways. All we can do is is, is hopefully work with people. Um, we do have long-term goals and targets, but as we said inside, you know, it took over seven years to develop our programme back home into something successful. Um, and that's grown so big that you know we are affecting over 40,000 children a year, which is which is phenomenal. And recently, we did a tour um, in July where we visited six states. We affected over a thousand children in, in that in that time. But you know, there are, there are lots of things that that we need to look at. You know, how we how we can affect um, parents, make parents aware of their role in, in developing their child, um, coaches, the mannerisms and coaches and, and how we deliver, you know, and trying to get away from that win at all cost mentality and really focusing in on, on developing the child and working with the child, whether it be boys or girls, whether they be elite or, or just love football and, and, and really make sure that they enjoy and develop and, uh, and can grow with confidence. Well, it's, it, it, you know, it's, it's a huge boost for not only Cardiff City because we've been so close for the last three or four seasons, but you know, our our chairman um, and our our Malaysian uh, owners, you know, they deserve it. You know, they they've backed the football club. Um, they deserve the recognition and the rewards, and it will only enhance what we're trying to do. But you know, as 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 Dato said, you know, we're not aiming at, at elite children. So what we're here to do is, is kick off our grassroots programme aimed at helping coaches, aimed at helping parents and aimed at developing all the other kids outside of, of the elite centres.